Hi, my name is Anthony Pulvinelli from Bud Smell Motor Cars, Mercedes-Benz in Greensburg. Just wanted to stop by today to tell you all about our 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLS. This vehicle is all new, all redesigned for 2020. Mercedes really uh, sort of reinvented the whole idea of what a full-size luxury sport utility could be with the debut of the GL several generations ago. And with the GLS, they've made a ton of very, very cool improvements, this being the all-new 2020. The GLS 450 for 2020 is an all new engine. It's the all new inline six with EQ boost and a ton of other great technology. I'll give you a tour all the way around. So Mercedes debuted the GL class, our full size sport utility in 2006. Since 2006, Mercedes has made several updates and you will find now with the GLS that the vehicle is the largest it's ever been, the quietest it's ever been, and with some all new technology under the hood. This particular GLS 450 now features EQ Boost technology for Mercedes-Benz. It's an all new engine for us. It's actually an inline six, which Mercedes has debuted on several 19 and 2020 Mercedes-Benz 450 models. This particular engine configuration now being available on our E-Coupe, our CLS four-door coupe, and vehicles like our GLS. Very cool technology, which I'll be going over with you here a little on our test drive. Of course, the all-new 9G Tronic transmission, the all-new headlight and headlamp designs that you'll find up front here. Bigger, sort of more prominent front grille. All new wheel designs, of course, as well, and several brand new colors available. You'll find two from the outside of the vehicle. Mercedes has continued to improve the overall size of this vehicle. So coming from last generation GLS, which actually ran up through to 2019, this vehicle grew by about two inches. So it is a little bit larger on the exterior. Inside, however, they've improved the interior space by almost half a foot. So you're gonna find that inside, it actually feels a lot roomier than just two extra inches. Most of that being in the back of the car. So you're going to see that the back seat has grown quite a bit and there is also still a rather significant third row. If you're over six foot tall and want to fit in the third row of a Mercedes, this is definitely the car for you. Moving around back, still a ton of room in the trunk of the car. You'll find electronics with everything with the third row, which is pretty neat. So you do have the ability to electronically control everything with the third row on the car. So you can maneuver both seats fully electronic with the gauges on the side. You also have a cross beam, which can be put in here for almost like as a privacy screen to help cover anything that you have in the back. True seven seater, but can also be had as a six seater. So another one of the big changes for 2020 is Mercedes for the first time in their history is offering one of our sport utilities with a captain's chair option. This one again is a seven seater, but we do also have the capability to offer it as a six seater with captain's chairs in the second row. Let's take it for a ride. All right, so the all new 2020 GLS, a lot of really, really cool technology. Uh, with this vehicle, I think one of the first things everyone realizes is how much the sort of in-car technology has changed. Uh, Mercedes-Benz with this vehicle has actually introduced an all-new operating system. It's called the Mercedes-Benz User Experience, MBUX. So this is something you may be familiar with from our 2019 A-Class, uh, which is also finding itself on the all-new GLB, the all-new GLE, uh, so on and so forth. And it's a very, very cool operating system, which gives you a lot of great functionality with how you interact with the entire operating system. So you, of course, now have the all-new generation trackpad here in the center, which allows you full uh, haptic touch capability with the operating system, pinch to zoom for the navigation, radio control, so on and so forth. Um, you are also, however, able to fully control and operate everything from the vehicle, all right from your steering wheel. So you have, with the new steering wheel design on these operating systems, the new sort of chiclet touchpad style controls, these little touch controls on the steering wheel itself, where you can actually operate the right steering wheel fully from the right side, excuse me, the right screen from the right side of the steering wheel, and the left screen from the left side of the wheel. Really, really cool too is how they've completely changed the instrument cluster and allowed you to customize gauge design and layout. You can also fully customize what information appears on sort of all three sections of this, this particular display, whether you want to have clocks over here or speedometers or different types of information is all pretty cool. 
You can even totally change the design layout, again, all right from using your steering wheel. So whether you're after the sort of classic Mercedes gauge design or, or the sort of sports style design, some of the other ones are pretty cool too. You can dive in, change it to like this progressive style where it sort of high points some of the fuel economy information a little different, which is kind of neat. But very, very customizable, very interchangeable with how you set up the new operating system style. A couple other cool things that have changed with how you operate it is you now have full touch capability. So this is the first generation of this particular model that has allowed you a actual full uh, color touch display as well. So if you'd prefer, you can simply go right on the display itself and adjust and operate everything like you would with the touch controls down below. So whether you're wanting to dive on and adjust the nav or change the radio station, very, very, very cool uh, is how this new display is in terms of how quickly it can uh, sort of respond to changes in terms of the graphics. Uh, uses the latest NVIDIA graphics card, which is pretty cool. So it should feel very, very much like using a higher end tablet, kind of like using an iPad or something of that nature. Something else you realize pretty quick too driving this car is just from a sort of quiet, uh, comfortable feel that you've sort of always come to expect from the GL and the GLS. Um, however, it's gotten that much quieter with this new generation. Uh, Mercedes continues to improve the all around acoustics and just sort of the interior volume of the car as you're driving along. It's helped too having a little bit of a longer wheelbase, but still sort of the car driving dynamic. Still kind of feels like a car when you drive it. Something really cool Mercedes has been able to manage with uh, sort of sticking with this style of construction, making their sport utilities ride a little more car-like. You want to take a turn at 50, 60 miles an hour in a Mercedes SUV and it's really easy to do so. Now something else which is kind of new and has changed a little bit is you do now have voice capability uh, like you never had before. So in past generations you always had the capability to give the Mercedes a voice command for example if you were wanting to change the radio station, if you were wanting to make a phone call, uh, just navigation. However that technology has improved a lot. Not only now are you able to um, sort of give it a different type of command and speak perhaps a little quicker and a little more sort of out of time with the uh, commands due to the new stereo miking that the vehicle uses, uh, but the car can also now understand better commands coming from the passenger seat or from the back seat. It's also changed how many commands you can give the vehicle. You can now uh, command the car to control things like interior ambient lighting, climate control. Uh, on some mod models you can even do like the sunshade and so on and so forth. The trick, you have to give it the magic word. So, hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Change the temperature to 72. I'm setting the temperature on the driver's side to 72 degrees. So notice right there, not only did it understand the command, but it actually knew where the command was coming from in the car. It's one of the really cool things with the new stereo miking system Mercedes has in this vehicle, that not only did it understand the command and understand I wanted to change the temperature, but it knew I was sitting on the driver's side specifically, so it changed this side of the car. So if I were back here, and I were to say, hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Change the temperature to 72 degrees. I'm setting the temperature on the front passenger side to 72 degrees. And if it had rear zone climate, it would do the rear. Wow. <laughs> that's what's cool. Like that's that's the different that's the difference with like the Benz tech is how it's it's at that level that it can actually see. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Change the lights to blue. Okay. I'm changing the color. So you'll notice the Mercedes commands will give you a lot of nice options in terms of what you're capable of doing. And you'll find even there too, you actually don't have to say the word hey, you can just say Mercedes and it will also understand the voice command. So either way is fine. Uh, there's a lot of capabilities though with what your voice allows you to be able to do with the new Mercedes-Benz user experience. Now the performance has changed quite a bit. So with the 450, we of course still have a six cylinder engine. However, it's no longer a V6, it's actually a new inline six. 
Uh, something really, really cool with the GLS lineup is every engine offered, whether you start with the six cylinder or you elect to upgrade to one of the V8s that are offered, um, is all of the engines feature a technology called EQ Boost. So this is a very, very cool new technology uh, that you're gonna start finding on really every Mercedes. Uh, it's kind of finding its way into just about everything in the lineup. Uh, pretty soon here, just probably every model we have will offer uh, some sort of the EQ technology. And what this basically does is, is there's a integrated starter generator, or ISG, which fits actually onto the engine. It's actually a part of it, so it's not a secondary component. It's actually a, a piece attached with the engine. And what this ISG does is it takes the place of the starter and the alternator. And being that it's integrated and right there, um, it actually has the ability to sort of work with the transmission and work with some of the other uh, drivetrain features on the car kind of on the fly. What this does is this gives you a mild hybrid technology on your engine. So even though nowhere on the car are you going to see a badge that says hybrid, this vehicle is essentially a mild hybrid Mercedes. All of the EQ Boost oh, cars yeah. are. So something kind of neat with that is when you put your foot down, rather than experience any sort of turbo lag while the turbo fully spools up, that ISG is going to give you instant torque. So when you put your foot down, you feel like you have just about all your power right away. Uh, it actually provides 184 pound-feet of torque from that ISG, so you never feel like the vehicle is a slouch and like you have to give it too much effort to accelerate. As we're driving along, we can even go ahead and adjust the ride height of the vehicle. We have the ability in all the GLS now to adjust ride height. Uh, there's a centrally located switch here right between the hand rest for the touchpad and your arm rest in the center console, where you'll notice you can rise the vehicle as well as lower the vehicle. So depending on the driving situation, if you want to get a little extra ride height or if you want to drop the vehicle down and go after a little bit of a sportier ride, you have that capability right here with the switch. You do, of course, still as well have the capability to adjust the dynamic select switch and change the performance of the car. So as in past Mercedes models, you'll see a pretty noticeable performance change by toggling the dynamic select switch and changing how the vehicle rides. Now, as always, there's so much standard safety equipment on a GLS. You're, of course, with every one of these vehicles going to find like the active brake assist in the front of the vehicle, uh, all basically sort of our suite of collision prevention uh, systems in the front of the vehicle, uh, active braking, adaptive braking, predictive brake priming, and so on. Uh, a few other really cool things uh, that you're going to find on the GLS is, for example, the blind spot assist on both sides of the car to let you know if somebody's in your blind spot. Another kind of cool thing that they've changed on the new one is with the camera array. So you're going to find, too, with the camera array on this now, the re rear view camera has gotten quite a, a different sort of overview to it with how you're able to check out all the lines in terms of your, your tracking lines when you back up the vehicle. And on most GLS models as well, you will find a surround view camera, which is pretty cool, where you have a 360 degree view all the way around it, as well as parking sensors and a semi-autonomous parking assist system. Now, every Mercedes GLS comes equipped with the full Mercedes factory warranty, four years, 50,000 miles comprehensive. Uh, there are, of course, a ton of great extended warranty options available if you think you might keep your GLS for longer than the four years. A ton of great uh, features are included as well uh, now with the warranty. For example, Mercedes Me Connect, which is the sort of all-new generation cell phone application, uh, which allows you to uh, remote start your vehicle, remote lock it, remote unlock it, locate the car, send nav instructions to the vehicle. Um, you can also do a lot of really cool new telediagnostic features with the app. So you can actually see how much gas is in your tank. You can check uh, tire pressure information. You can see if your windows are down, if you left your sunroof open, uh, schedule a service, and so on and so forth. There's a ton of cool information now uh, you can see in the app. It's free. It's included during the warranty. Um, something else Mercedes has also included now for during the warranty period is the 911 emergency services, which is behind this little SOS button here in the center console. It is now included also as part of your warranty at no extra charge. So hope you never need to use it, but in the event that you're either in an accident or there's a serious medical emergency on board, simply press that button 
and emergency services will be notified. We also at Smail offer a ton of great uh, free services with every Mercedes GLS, such as free lifetime state inspections, uh, pickup and delivery service for, for, for servicing, uh, Mercedes-Benz service loaners. Also as well, it's a dealer network program to offer 24-7 roadside assistance. So you have that as well, and that's nationwide with all the Mercedes dealerships. Very nice service to have. You'll notice too with that blind spot assist feature how it indicates on both side mirrors, both with the uh, audible chime and the visual beep blinking effect there with the red triangle so you can actually see what's going on and see somebody's in your blind spot. That also works with the new vehicle exit warning, so if you go to open your door and somebody's um, approaching you in your blind spot, it'll alert you as well. So you'll see if you, if you do still want to park the vehicle yourself with the nice camera here, it makes it rather easy to see exactly where you're at. You can kind of position where your wheels will be appropriately in a spot. Obviously, it's always still recommended to check out your mirrors, but if you were to just watch the screen, you'll notice it does make it rather simple for you to see exactly what's going on behind you. And again, on many GLS vehicles, you also feature the uh, surround camera. So if the backup camera doesn't give you enough of, of, a, of a field of view, the surround view camera definitely will. It'll give you two additional side cameras on the side mirrors as well as a front-facing camera. Thank you for joining me on the test drive on the 2020 GLS 450. For more information, feel free to visit us at our showroom here at Smale Mercedes in Greensburg or visit us on the web at smalemercedesbenz.com.